Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. What's new? Okay, so today I want to talk with you about fourth grade spelling. Before we go any further, guys, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. While you are down there, feel free to reach out to me either in the comments, you will also find the links to the things that I am talking about today down there. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are in our fifth year of homeschooling and we have a kindergartner and a fourth grader. We specialize and focus on secular homeschooling curriculum choices. Okay guys, let's get into it. Today, I wanna to talk with you about fourth grade spelling. I have told you that my fourth grader um, had just a little bit of struggle with spelling. She gets going really quickly and doesn't focus on what she's, like if she slows down, she gets it right, but when she's going quickly, it's just correct spelling is not there. So because of that, I knew that this year I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, and because of that, and because I know what we've used, I wanted to start doing something a little bit different with my kindergartner. So what we did, what we came up with, or let me back up. So my fourth grader, when we started our homeschooling journey, it was through a distance-based learning program uh, through Texas Tech. And they did the, uh, the traditional, like here's 10 words, and you do the things at the end of the week, we do like a test, and you've learned how to spell the 10 words. This didn't really work for us. And I also don't love that approach because I don't feel like that's memorization. It's not really learning how to spell. You're learning how to spell those words, but you're not really learning the relationship between what makes those words spelled that way, like to help you for the next word that you find that would be similar. So I knew that we wanted to branch out. When we started using Timberdoodle, Timberdoodle includes in its program, Spelling UC, which is by the Demi Learning Company, uh, which also does Math UC. And what they do, they take a little bit of a different approach. They do um, like letter chunking. So what they'll do is they break their um, instruction down into, let's see, I'm gonna do a little down shot so you can see this in a minute, into commonly used vowel chunks, consonant chunks, bossy R, um, endings, tricky Y guy, things like that. So things that you're gonna find you know, across tons of words so that when you have learned and identified the chunk, you can then kind of use that to fill in your knowledge gap on how to spell other words. Now. The system that they use, and it's been a little bit different for my kindergartner because we didn't start with spelling UC until later, till I think third grade, no, second grade for my older daughter. And so the, um, the first levels of spelling UC are a little bit different and you can find those uh, right up here. You can find those over in the uh, kindergarten spelling video that I put up earlier this year. So the way that spelling UC works is you basically have a passage you have a passage and you read it and then you color code it and we've used um, erasable highlighters which work really well or the erasable colored pencils work really well and then you do it for five days a week. It's set up on a traditional school schedule with 36 weeks and doing one every day. There's no tests but there is spelling uh, kind of rewriting the entire passage from dictation which is like a test. Um, so that is the way that spelling UC works. Now has it improved her spelling? I would argue that it hasn't. So that's why I felt like there was a void um, and we needed, I mean, she has learned some of them and she can identify them and color code them, but as far as just inherently being able to spell quickly, it hasn't progressed the way that I would like. So I felt like there was a void. So I felt like we could add, since our younger sister was starting spelling as well, we are also doing all about spelling. now. If you guys are not familiar, the All About Reading takes a multi-sensory approach and the All About Spelling program does as well. And I feel like that's why it's very successful. So it teaches just like All About Reading, it teaches the phonics of spelling to help you fill in those gaps and be able to learn a rule that then applies to many words as opposed to just memorizing the word. Now, we are using both of these. Why? Well, I have an entire video about that right up here, but in case you don't wanna sit and go find that, the long and the short of it is, I really like the handwriting, the dictation, and 
the information. The passages are really fun. They're based on historical facts. We enjoy them. The passages are great. I like that. And then in doing this, there's not like a workbook, but this has been uh, the all about spelling level one has been great for my kindergartner and it has been very remedial for my fourth grader, which I think has served a really good purpose as far as um, reinforcing to all of us that she does know some of this. And I think it's giving her confidence in spelling and helping her um, just feel really good about that because she has really breezed through this. But this doesn't have like a workbook or um, too much writing, anything like that. Whereas the spelling you see really does kind of fill that gap. Now, I'm gonna pop over, I'm gonna downshoot and show you both of these things and we can talk about all the pieces that come with All About Spelling because it's kind of a lot. Um, and then just uh, talk about the books a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start with the spelling you see. This is level E, which my daughter, again, is in fourth grade. Okay, so instructor's manual, it tells you about what you're doing, how they're learning, and then explains the, uh, the different chunks and how to use the program. It also then back here does have the passages which are color-coded for you so that it's like the answer key because the student book has, um, the passages are just blank and then it tells them what they'll need to be color coding and then it's got the spot opposite where they can do their copy work for A, B, and C, and then on D, it is dictation with assistance if they need to help. Now there are some weeks that do change um, on what you are chunking through the week. And then Friday or the last lesson of the week is um, the passage again from dictation. Now this would be easier, I think, if it were spiral bound because we have a little bit of a hard time sometimes flipping it all the way over so that she doesn't see the answer for the dictation. So I would appreciate if this particular, um, and it is all perforated, we could pull it out but I would appreciate it more if it were spiral bound, personally. So that is the spelling you see. And the different levels have different themes as far as what we're talking about. This is the American, American Spirit. Um, they've got, I think the, I think the level A or B is like Jack and Jill. One was about nursery rhymes. Okay, now all about spelling. So it comes with box cards, book, comes with a chart. I actually made a copy and then I bought some extra, like, because they always have a tracker, if you're familiar with the All About Reading programs. And um, so this one has uh, little B stickers. And then the phonograms progress chart that you can keep track. So we just got a kind of an extra copy of that. And it also comes with the letter tiles for your two by three whiteboard, or you can use the letter tiles app which I'm not gonna show you because I've showed that like a million times. Um, now, this is unique in the sense there's not a workbook, but you've got your phonogram cards, sound cards, key cards, and word cards, and they're all color coded here. It also comes with, not the little counters, but these little clear discs. I stuck the counters in here because I am using this with two kids, um, but it helps them segment because you go through different processes of how to kind of sound out the words to understand the different ways to spell words. So it is a multi-sensory approach, which I always love, you know, the all about learning press. I, I love their take on that. It gives you your, of course, table contents. Uh, but some of the things that I like that it does, the things that it does differently, one, I do like that it's got the different the different approaches or whatever, but then I also like that it's got like rule cards, like it, that enforces the rules, that it's all done based around the phonograms, which then is in conjunction with like all about reading, that same approach. I like that it goes through similarly. And we will, we do use different ways to, to kind of use this. There's the cards, you can spell it, you use the little things you push when you hear the different letter sounds. Uh, you write them, which we use a whiteboard, or you can do it from dictation, or you can 
um, have them spell it with the letter tiles. And so it's really fun. It's a great approach. So the key cards are like your rules. And then I, I do like that it's all very hands on and that it's not a um, that it's not a workbook approach. I, I like that. I feel like that's going to serve us better as far as learning the things that you'll need to know to be able to spell words you don't already know. So that is a look at all about spelling and spelling you see and how we are using them for fourth grade. Guys, I hope that you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Please share. What do you use for spelling? What do you feel like has worked? What kind of approach do you feel like works for you, or do you prefer? I think a lot of people do prefer the 10 word memorization. I don't. Maybe I should switch to that. Maybe we should go back. I don't know. So share down below what you've got going on, how it's working for you. Again, if you ever want to shoot me any message over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic or down in the comments. Bye, guys.